Hi, welcome to this video on the DNA cold press juicer. We're going to go through two points in this video. Number one, what you can expect when you open the DNA juicer for the first time. Number two, how to assemble the DNA juicer quickly. So let's look at the components. When you open the box for the first time, you'll receive some documentation. You will receive the DNA juicer instruction manual, explains to you how to use the DNA juicer correctly. You will get a warranty information card, explains to you the warranty procedure. Remember there's five years warranty on the motor on the DNA juicer. You will receive an important notice flyer that runs through the most important things to consider when juicing for the first time. You will receive this very handy top 10 juicing recipe manual that starts by explaining the difference between a masticating juicer and a traditional centrifugal juicer and follows on with some very handy juicing recipes such as weight loss recipes, detox recipes, immune boosting recipes. So very handy if you haven't juiced before. Then let's get to the actual components. You will receive the actual motor with this very handy carry handle. You will get two jugs. You will get the pulp jug, the juicing jug. You will receive the actual juicing bowl. You will get the strainer which fits into this black compartment. You will get the auger which does the magic of retaining all your live enzymes, your nutrients, your vitamins and your minerals. You will get the actual lid that secures onto the bowl together with this pusher that helps guide your vegetables through the chute. You will receive an additional strainer, it's a different colour and this strainer is for smoothies and for sorbets. You will see these bigger holes. Finally, you will receive this toothbrush which will help you in cleaning the strainer by getting rid of some very stubborn fibers that might have gathered in your strainer. And on the back end of the toothbrush, you've got this section which helps to remove any excess pulp in the juicing bowl outlet. Those are the items that you'll receive in your DNA juicer box. Let's get to the second part of this video. We'll explain how to assemble the DNA juicer. Start with the motor. Make sure the motor is plugged in. If you haven't switched it on yet. In the juicing bowl, make sure that the red silicone rubber is firmly secured so that you can avoid any leaking. The bowl just pushes on to the motor easily. Secondly, the strainer. Push the strainer into the black housing. Then you make sure that the white dot on the strainer lines up with the white dot in the bowl. Grab your push your auger. Auger secures also very easily. Then you've got your lid. Make sure that the white dot on the lid once again matches up with the white dot on the actual strainer and the bowl. Then there's an arrow pointing clockwise, pointing clockwise, secures nicely, push it fits into the chute, the juicing bowls, and with the juice in the pulp outlet, and now we're ready for action. To test that your DNA juicer is correctly assembled, switch it on. If it turns and works, it's silent, but you'll get the motor working, then you know it's correctly assembled. If it doesn't turn on, the safety precaution, it will not, it, if it hasn't been assembled correctly, it will not turn on. So, in this video, we discussed what you'll receive in the box when you open the DNA juicer for the first time. And number two, how to assemble the DNA juicer correctly. We're going to do a series of videos. We're going to do some juicing videos on how to juice wheatgrass, how to juice vegetables, and a little bit of fruit. The difference between the juicers in the market and why cold press juicing is becoming a very interesting field and also some extra health tips on how to get you into the best health you've ever been. 
So thanks to, for listening and look forward to our next video. Thank you.